he's faster than a speeding bullet. Smarter than a toddler and some of the men I've dated. <laughs> and cuter than all of the men I've dated. Sorry, boys. Uncle Jesse, watch the hair, huh? Good boy! Can you see it? Can you see it? Good boy! Good boy, lie down. Good boy! Meet Uncle Jesse, the vegan wonder dog. Uncle Jesse, do you love tofu? You're gonna eat your tofu? Oh, yeah. That's right, I have got a plant-based pooch, and if you stay tuned, I will tell you how old he is and some of the amazing things he's done on a plant-based diet. Still skeptical? I'll also talk science. So after a year of being vegan myself, I was still really hesitant to even think about transitioning my dog to a plant-based diet. It seemed like it might be a little unnatural. We think of dogs as descendants of wolves. They are not naturally herbivores. So I talked to some friends, I did some research, and I actually found out that vets were prescribing plant-based diets to dogs with skin conditions. I had no idea. So I decided to buy a bag of V-Dog and figured, you know, what if Uncle Jesse doesn't like it we will move on maybe we'll try again later maybe we won't so I mixed the v-dog with his old meat-based kibble and the meat-based kibble was a lot darker in color so it was easy for me to distinguish between the two and I gave it to Uncle Jesse I came back later and found this huge mess because he had picked out every piece of v-dog and eaten it and left the meat-based kibble behind the doodle had spoken so over the past four years, including four annual vet visits, Uncle Jesse's bowel movements have been great. Poop, there it is. Poop, there it is. He has maintained the same weight. He has run in the past year alone three trail marathons with me. He is the picture of health. And side note, I didn't realize I was actually also saving a ton of money with V-Dog. It comes in a 30 pound bag for about 65 bucks and it's way cheaper than the meat-based kibble I was buying when I broke it down by size bag that it was. And not that that was at all my motivation, but I have found that going plant-based comes with all of these amazing fringe benefits. As for how old Uncle Jesse is, allow me to reenact a scene that happened on a trail recently that happens probably about once a week. Hey, can our dogs play? Yeah, sure. Mine's kind of a spaz, though. Wow, he's so much energy. He's 11. Months? No, years. No way. Now, of course, I recommend that you talk to your vet before making any changes to your dog's diet. But in the meantime, allow me to share some incredible facts. So hopefully fact number one about Bramble the Collie who lived to be 25 on a vegan diet or 189 in dog years means that Uncle Jesse has a long way to go. I think item two is what concerns people the most, that dogs can't get what they need from a vegan diet, but in fact, that is not true. When I found out about number three, my mind was just blown that the things that we actually regularly do feed our dogs tend to be the most common allergens for them. Fact number four gets a little sciencey, so I will link everything below and you can dig in if you'd like. What I really wanted to get into in this video was number five, personal testament. You see Uncle Jesse, the proof is in the vegan pudding. Amazing, right? Now, if you'll excuse me, it is time for Uncle Jesse's spa treatment. If you like this video, I hope you'll hit like, stay tuned. Robin and I have so much more free plant-based content coming your way. We've got taste tests, we've got recipes, we've got interviews, oh, we got lots of stuff. Uncle Jesse, you've been so patient.